Do I look stupid? I feel stupid wearing this. Anyhow, hello and welcome to today's episode of Showcase on Neo. Today's episode, an entire set, which is the Warrior of the West set. So much as the blade itself is unique, it goes in tandem with the armor set. So why not do the whole thing? Well, I'll do everything but the bow and arrow, because the bow and arrow seems to be lacking any unique qualities, but no matter. This armor set belongs to Minshinge Tachibana. I believe I pronounced his name right, but I could be butchered. Anyway, you more than likely you've all met him now and probably defeated him and got his armor set. But his armor set, well, it has a bunch of unique qualities to it. it has a bunch of unique little tags, too. So let's go over that, plus the sword itself, the Warrior of the West. So in short, it's the Warrior of the West set. Now, with the blade in hand, we can see it's quite different, and it's got a really strange pommel. It's similar to the helmet, it's got the full ring. The blade quite looks like that. <laughs> it's rather a large palm pommel, and it may even give them the way from swinging it and properly guarding yourself with it, but no matter. It looks pretty fancy, if not odd. Alright, the blade's description reads, Forged by Kitsumitsu, the Ofun style of Bizin province. Oh, so many butchered names. Once owned by the Toitomi family, now in possession of Minshige Tachibana. It was given to him by Hiyoshi Toitomi himself, in praise of Mishinge's earnings of the title Warrior of the West. Legend has it that Mishinge cut an assassin with it. The assassin fled across the river and fell in two as he climbed back aground. The blade was so sharp, he didn't realize he'd been cut in half. After the blade was named Nami Agoso, the wave sw swimmer, so butchered. Now, lore-wise, I could not actually find much on uh, Tachibana's sword itself. Or uh, I found plenty about the man, how charismatic he was, and very loyal to Hideyoshi, but not so much on his blade, though it's probably out there. The other one, the Rikage, was well, correct, but anyhow. If the weapon itself, if you wish to make it, you can see you can make it here, if you find the recipe for making it. It does take a new claw, though, and those are a pain he has to grab, but no matter. Alright, now onto the set itself. For the Warrior of the West, we have a total of seven pieces. The whole armor set, and then a sword and a bow. So, when you have all these equipped, you got various bonuses, such as you got damage reduction, but only by a measly 2%, so it's almost minuscule. Skill damage, for the Pacific skill, Tiger Sprint, a whopping 30%, so we'll test that. Then moving on to four pieces, we got uh, close damage, well, being close damage increased by another 11%, and then if we use the Ry Riken Bolt uh, Spirit, we get an extra 10 attack and defense. Then five pieces, we got pretty much all oh, this damn scrolling, that's annoying. Uh, we get extra damage against enemies who are electrified by 31%, so we'll see about that. But anyway, and then we got close combat damage, but we know when we have no rare damage. Now, if we need an extra expla explanation of this, I'll go. So again, as I mentioned, you got the attack and defense when using Pacific Guardian Spirit, the Ry Ryzen. And again, the club out the electrified enemies, which I probably won't bother with if I could test the first one. And then the last one's actually interesting. I can't really test it very well, but it says no rare damage, like no bonus to it. That goes for the enemy and ourselves. So it's a double-edged sword. I can't do more damage to the enemy rare-wise, but they can't do the same to me. I'm not, not really keen on that, not really like that idea, but no matter. Now, how much does this weight armor set weigh? Well, it's not the lightest, but it's not the heaviest. I call it slightly heavy. It's not overly heavy, you see, I can still wear it and still be underneath 70%. And my stamina's around, where am I up? My stamina's around 15, around there? But yes. So I can just barely wear it. There are later ones out there, but we simply have this. And as for defense-wise, it's irrelevant because everything scales with your level. So again, we do not care about, in this review, I do not care about the damage or the defense value of this weapon. Now what about the sword itself? Now we got one here, it's not quite up to my level par, but that's irrelevant. Anyhow, we saw that when creating the weapon, all you get really is the water damage. So that's what the wet weapon of the West, the Nami, I, I can't even pronounce that word. The Nami Sword. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad with Japanese names. Anyhow, we only know what comes with water. 
As for everything else, it simply came with the luck of the draw. That, and uh, we also get the effect of the seven pieces, you know, the War of the West set. Going on to the bottom, we see this is true for every one of the blades. We got the buffs here. We got for heart, we got B plus. For pretty much for strength, you got C, and same thing can be said about skill. So these are nice little buffs here. It keeps in mind. So it makes sense for heart because that's what affects mainly swords or katanas. And I'll use a wheat stone. So let's see. Let's see a direct comparison. Never done this before, so far. So here is it upgraded. I believe I can show the both uh, the new and old at the same time, side by side. I hope I did that right. But no matter, you see, it's not a huge improvement. It's a very small one. The water at least got almost doubled, went from 7 to 12, but the damage from behind went from, what, 17 to 22? So that's a very minuscule upgrade. However, the extra buff for change to attack for... Or extra attack scaling from heart. I'm actually not sure if it scales together with the already existing one. There's no real good way to ch check that unless I make another one and test it. I'll have to uh, make an update on that later. But uh, but yes, that went from A minus to A plus. So all right, so we can see that getting a weapon f fully familiar does not really make it OP. It's not a tremendously huge upgrade. It's a very minor one. It's not like Dark Souls when you upgrade something from rank 0, rank 10, and it's a whole different different weapon in terms of damage, but not this time around. So, so being familiar with weapons is not really a necessity. Alright, now about that skill, the Tiger Sprint. Let's take a look. Oh, it's this attack. It's been used against me against various opponents, but I never actually used it. It's probably going to be hard to use. I used a Quick Draw, but not the Sprint one. This might be difficult to use. Alright, when using it in your skills, you can see the Tiger Sprint is in the high stance, we got in the mid stance, and in the low stance. It's for every stance, so it doesn't matter. Okay, you simply have your weapon not drawn, and hold R1, and sprint. That's me auto-sprinting. This is not going to be easy. Okay, okay, I'm going to make sure weapons... Okay, let's try it. Swing and a miss! So this skill is awkward to use, and now that the opponent's fully aware of me, uh, I'm going to slow him down, and let's try it again. It's important that I show you the struggle to use this. Okay, it's 1,050. Now, no, no cutting the footage, so you know I'm not joking here. I'm going to take off all my armor, I'm being cut down. <laughs> Even the boots. Let's try this again. Alright. Let's try this again. Come on, come at me, bro. Naked Samurai, i got to cut you down. This skill is not easy to use. You auto run and you got it's around four seconds. Okay, slow him down again. Let's try this again. Let's try. There we go. Oh, 790. So, dramatic difference. But wait! That's not even the full damage. You can see I still have it active. Why? I forgot about the damn bow. Word of the West bow. So, I still had that damage on. This is the close damage. 10%, everything else was kicking in. So, let's try this again. Got a slightly different target, but similar armor. Ah, uh, missed again. So this is one major problem with this set, is it well, pretty much associated with this skill that's hard to use. So there you go. 605. But let's move on to pros and cons, because this video is already getting too long. Alright, on the pros, it's a fairly early acquisition of this set. I think it's like the first one you can get. The sword is also pretty damn good. That's alright, with the water damage and whatnot. And some of the set bonuses are also pretty nice, with the electrified damage, though I didn't get to show it, but it did plenty more damage. And the, I guess for what's worth, the Tiger Sprint also worked pretty good. On the cons, the weapons, the armor set is a little he little heavy. Not overly heavy, but a little bit heavy. And the associated skill of the Tiger Sprint is actually difficult to use. It's good for sneaking up on an opponent with, but after he knows you're there, yeah, it's a bit more difficult. <laughs> Alright, and I believe those are the cons. Now, going on to the score for the Warrior of the West. As a set as a whole, with all the bonuses, I give it 8 out of 10. You get quite a bit out there, with damage, extra damage being close quarters, a little more electrified damage, and if you use Ryzen or Ryken uh, Spirit, even better. Just that skill is not so great. Speaking of which, the skill buff. Since every almost every armor set 
is associated with a skill. This skill, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10. It's a very difficult one to use. Not really that overly helpful either, considering you're very vulnerable while charging at your opponent. Weight, I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Like I said, it's not the heaviest, but it's not the lightest either. But no matter. For miscellaneous, a 6 out of 10. So you get this pretty early in the game. And it's pretty decent compared to most other armor you find. So in total, I give the Warrior of the West set 23 out of 40. It's good. It's good. It's what it's expected, since it's probably the first one you find, I believe. And that wraps up this video. Now, I think I did a couple things right. I'll try to make them shorter in the future. I kind of got off hand when I was making this one, and it came out longer than I wanted to be. In the future, if the skills are simply difficult to perform, I'll probably just do it once and that'll be the end of it. So yes. As for overall, it was a pretty good armor set. Not one I'd probably use, but good nonetheless to start with. But that's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there. Hey.